Hello guys, so let me introduce you to Dynamic Lines. Uh, I made this tool uh, years ago after looking at uh, West Levani 2's video on his YouTube channel, Penfinity. Uh, I also saw some people like Yuri uh, using this workflow, but uh, I made this tool uh, after the video of uh, Wesley. And it's a standalone uh, add-on, but I decided to add it directly on the Speech Companion 2. So like that, uh, you will be able to use it. And what does this uh, add-on do? Uh, you can create some plates like that really easily, really fast. And it's fully editable. This is the interesting part. Like that. And you can uh, do this. So uh, pretty fast. I will show you this. So I will, for example, uh, add a grid here. I will just move my grid. I will go in edit mode and now I will just select some edges. So like that, like that. Maybe one here. Okay. So if I'm okay with this, I will just call the uh, dynamic lines on uh, Speedflow Companion. And that's it. That created me uh, directly this result. So you can play with this solidify like that. You can play with the offset of the solidify. If you place this at the ground or on the wall, you don't need the inside part, but you can add it if you want with G. And that's it. You can play with the bevel. You can add uh, some segments. You can play with the width. I will remove the segments. I will play with the width. I will add another bevel, add more segments, play with the axis. The, uh, yes, the axis, uh, the angle value, not the axis, my bad. Uh, as you can see, there is one bevel here at the bottom, and this one will uh, help you to make something like that. Okay? So you have to be just careful with the, uh, the value. And you don't need to add uh, or to remove more segments because you need uh, to keep it like that. Okay. So as you can see, I have uh, really fast a proper result. This is pretty nice. I can add, uh, why not, uh, an array, uh, move it, uh, etc., 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 add some, uh, some other part. And this is pretty simple. So, uh, the add-ons work with uh, vertex groups. So, a line is uh, two vertex. And if, for example, I want to remove the line on this one, I will call the add-on and I will press control. And since this vertex has been removed, from the, uh, the dynamic line uh, that will remove also this one. So I will just have to clean this with select by selecting it and click on dynamic line like that. If I want to add one or more edges, I will just select and click and that will give me this result. So uh, you just have to be careful of on uh, what you do and you can, if you want, uh, clean everything with this. Uh, select, add or remove from the selection. This is the mask group and this is the selection group. So I will let you play with it. But most of the time you just have to uh, play here. Okay. So how to do this? Pretty simple too. I will just add a plane. I will move it like that. I will go, come here. Go in edit mode, select the knife tool, press C. There is some options here because the knife tool is a model. You will make something like that. Up, press E. Like that. Up. And I can even go here and press enter. If I select uh, all of this and I call the tool, you will see the result. That will give me this result. And why? Because I need to have uh, a line between them to work. But right now, I just have that. But that can be really interesting because you can, after, make something like that if you want. If you make uh, some sci-fi um, wall, you can do uh, something like that. And if you want, so you can add a grid, etc., etc. But if you don't want that, you can come here, you can press K. You can come here, press C like that, press enter. Uh, one thing I will do is to uh, clean everything, just to show you, you can press control, and that's it. And now I will just select uh, my uh, lines, but I can also add some bevels. Control B, V, like that. And now I will select this, and I will just call the tool dynamic line, and that's it. So pretty, pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, normally, if I 
uh, I can select this one too to have this result if I want. Okay. So like I said, I can, uh, for example, add a grid at the uh, center. I will just make uh, this. I will uh, just place the origin, the cursor on this one and this one on the cursor. Like that, I'm pretty sure to have exactly what I want. So I have this result. I will go just activate the wireframe. No, not you. Shift Z. Oh, I can add a subsurf to one. And I need to uh, activate, disable the OpenGL uh, display. So G. Okay. I have this, this result now. I can, uh, maybe I need to place it in uh, simple mode. Okay. So I can add a simple wireframe like that. I can play with this. I can add a boundary if I want one. So I have this result. Maybe I can scale it a little like that. On this one, if I want, I can add a bevel, like that, a little one. And that's it. I made uh, my grid. It was very really fast, really easy. And uh, and that's it. I can make something more uh, more sci-fi, like that. Up, press X. And that's it. So pretty easy, pretty fast. And this one is just uh, this plane. Everything is editable like that. On this one, I can also play with this the uh, subsurf. Uh, maybe I was too <laughs> too fast. Uh, I will press S uh, two like that. That will give me this result. Or S zero. That will give me this result. S one, etc. etc. So a lot of possibilities. So for this one, uh, this is a little different. You can, for example, do this. I will just move this. I will, uh, for example, again, uh, call this to move this here. So I have this result. Uh, one thing I can do is to add uh, a line. Hop. I will call this one here. I will move it at the top. So uh, maybe uh, I will go here. I will prepare my uh, my asset. I will make something like that. Up, if I want. Like that. Okay. So uh, what I will do now is to select this one, select this one, go in edit mode, go in front view. I will deselect everything and I will activate the Knaf project. And like that, that will create uh, directly this. Uh, I will hide this one. Up, uh, go in object mode. Activate the wire that will project the uh, the circle on my object. So normally, if I select uh, only this and I call the tool, I will ha have a hole here. Boom, and I will be able in bevel mode to play to add up like that. Pretty simple. Uh, I can maybe clean this to go here and same here to go here and that's it. I can, no, I cannot uh, add the subsurf since uh, everything is not correct like that, like that. If I want to add a subsurf, I need to clean the mesh, but it's possible. But as you can see, this is the, the result. This one, I have a subsurf here. It was a, a fast test. It's really bad, but uh, it was just to show you. Uh, on this one, I can also uh, continue to, for example, press K, C, to make something like that. Up, press Enter. Uh, I will just have to clean it right now. So I will select all of this, go here, and maybe uh, remove to have this result or assign. Okay. And now if I select and I click, I should have this result. Okay. So as you can see, there is a lot of possibilities. You can do uh, whatever you want. This is really nice to make this kind of uh, of part, uh, this kind, this kind, and this kind. And uh, you can do uh, some other part uh, again. Uh, that also works on, uh, on this kind of asset. I will select this. I will keep one between them. If I click, hopla, come here. I will have this result. And on this one, I can add a subsurf if I want. I can, for example, come here, select this, uh, and 
do this. Hop là. I can play with the bevel. Can play with the angle. I have only two segments. I will remove one. Shift W. I will just move this under. Hop là. I think I will remove in fact the uh, subsurf to help me. So I will go on the last one. Up the. I will go on the second one. I will have this. And I will have this result for the final. So a lot of possibilities. If I want to make a hole here, I can just select those two and make dynamic line. And I will have my hole just like that. So that's it for this tool. Uh, you can continue on your object and uh, to play with it. For example, I have a simple screw here. I can duplicate it. I can edit uh, this screw to do uh, whatever I want. For example, if I don't want uh, this part, I can uh, press X, delete. I can press E and uh, snap on the vertex. Uh, hop là, here. So now I have this result. Okay. I will just Deactivate the snap, activate, oop la, control Z, hop, ah, la, la. the snipe with the scale, the, the snipe should be uh, automatically uh, id, fin, disabled with the scale. So, I will activate on fast and I will just come here, make something like that, select, make a boolean, and that's it. I can make a mirror, I can press O, select this, and shift Y. To do this and I just have to move this a little and that's it I made uh, really fast uh, this object I can edit and add some segments like that and I can hide it I can why not uh, add a simple plan here scale it like that uh, apply the transform up move this one here up G G I can add a bevel on this one, like that, and uh, another bevel here, little one. Can make a solidify, can move my solidify to the other part, like that. And with this one, I can make, why not control alt and click, and I will automatically create this, and I'm able to edit it. So, since it's uh, from modifiers, I can edit everything. So, I need to edit uh, the segments. I need to edit uh, the segments with this, if I need more segments. I also can add another bevel, like that. And this one I will, maybe, yep, like that. And I can hide this one, H. And as you can see, this is pretty easy, pretty fast. I can do uh, more than that. I can uh, cut uh, everything. I can uh, up, 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 go here, move this one, like that, move this one, hop, hop, hop. And on this one, I will just have to uh, maybe hop, move the boolean uh, here. Or I can, I can do this, in fact, boolean. And that work. But since it's open, as you can see, uh, Bmesh have some difficulties. But uh, I will remove this one. I need to close uh, the mesh to uh, to be sure I will have something that will work uh, with Bmesh. For example, if I call it to the solidify, I press G, I will have this result. And now, if I select this and press Control Alt and click, I will automatically have this result. So as you can see, uh, this was Bmesh uh, that uh, made some issues, but now this is uh, this is okay. I can also move this one, G, up, to have something more like that if I want. I can add, uh, I can do whatever I want. I'm not uh, really great to make uh, this kind of asset. It's not really my uh, my cam, but as you can see, uh, you have all the tools. And the interesting part is that. Uh, this is just a plane. Everything is editable. So this is for me uh, the the most important. I can just select, for example, this, and I can move it like that, and that's it. I edit edit uh, really fast, really easily. Up like that. So pretty funny. So that's it. I will stop here. Hope you like this new uh, this new tool. 
and companion dynamic line really nice uh, works with everything uh, keep everything editable and um, this is nice okay bye bye